Good morning, good morning, good morning. I think it's going to be a good day today. We're running out to the middle of nowhere in Florida to get my friend's GSXR 1000R tuned on the dyno. So hopefully we're going to have a little good footage for that. Uh, I'm not taking the uh, Ducati 899 this morning. This morning I'm on the big bad mofo right here. Big bad mofo. So, looks like I'm warmed up. Can't get my garage door to close. There we go. I make it to the gas station I'm really low I have uh, not ridden this bike in about two months because I got the uh, Ducati I bought a used so I was sorting it out I've been riding that more so it's first time on Ducati in a while well I guess you say they're pretty this is the best bike I've ever owned. Why is it the best bike? I've owned a lot of Ducatis. I've owned uh, a few Japanese bikes. I'm motorcycle agnostic. I like all brands. I feel every brand has something. I feel they're all engineered amazingly. They're all a little different. Uh, the reason I went with the Aprilia is after 10 years of watching reviews on it, on YouTube and listening to how it sounds and kind of keeping an eye on it. I just really love the V4. This is a 2018 and 17. They bumped the horsepower to 201. So I got a good deal on it. I bought it brand new and I said, you know what? I gotta have one of these. So I do. I love it. It's one of my. Uh, it's one of those bikes that I. I just can't get rid of. So I'm meeting my buddy right now at the gas station. Uh, he's got his own channel, Jigsaw. Uh, Rides a 2018 GXSR 1000R. It's a really, really good bike. Uh, I've ridden that multiple times. He's ridden the Aprilia. Uh, the GSXR, it, it stayed a tune right now, which is basically a full exhaust, arrow header, and uh, Yoshimura slip on the slip ons that come with the uh, with the uh, uh, bike when you buy it. Um, on a different dyno with just unrestricted ECU, he made 189 horsepower. Uh, this bike completely stock on the dyno, same dyno, same day, and it was about, I think, uh, 98 degrees with 68% humidity because we live here in Florida. Uh, this bike made 185. Oh, sorry, 184. So now that I am tuned with the Open Flash tablet from Open Flash tablet uh, by Shift Pathic. I'm excited to see what this will pull. Oh, I'm so excited to ride this thing. And it just goes. Uh, a couple nice things about the Aprilia. Uh, it's got cruise control. I was like, ah! Need cruise control. What do I need cruise control for? Well, when you're middle aged like I am and your, your hand falls asleep on the highway, you start to appreciate it more. <laughs> uh, I'll be the first to admit when I'm wrong, and uh, yeah, I was wrong. Cruise control is actually pretty cool. It's uh, easy to uh, use on this bike once you kind of get used to it. 
this bike uh, gets absolutely horrible gas power. I mean, like, so bad it feels like there's a hole in the tank somewhere. And it's just dripping out while you're riding. And it's bad. Uh, I've gotten, like, 65 miles to a whole tank, pushing it uh, into corners uh, with my buddies. Uh, it's crazy. So, I seem to feel like I have to stop at a gas station constantly and fill it up. Uh, it's kind of worth it because it is an amazing machine. Uh, oh, <laughs> I got auto blooper downshift, but I've been riding my uh, 899 that only has the upshift. And uh, I forgot, so I'll just rub mash for no reason. I don't let the computer do that. Uh -uh. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull in this gas station, put a little gas in this bad mama drama, and then I'm going to hopefully get a couple good shots of uh, Jordan and I riding and having fun uh, on our way to this dino in the middle of nowhere. Honestly, I don't know where this is. My understanding is uh, past Palaka. That placa is kind of somewhat the middle of nowhere. So I have no clue where this thing is. So I'm just going to follow him. And hopefully, I'm going to get there safe with no problems. See you later.